uh, clients have been looking for good yields with low risk. Uh, just uh, outline then what uh, investment opportunities uh, you can offer across uh, the geographies, across sectors and asset classes. Yeah, so the Stashway platform offers a very broad range of solutions. And let's club it into two. There is a cash management type of solutions, which is, uh, as you mentioned, uh, has been very popular over the last uh, 18 months with people being uh, very much focused on uh, getting ill that was uh, safe. Uh, and so we call this solution Stashway Simple. Uh, and, you know, in Singapore, we have something called Simple Guaranteed that uh, gives a, a fixed uh, a kind of a guaranteed rate, and we have Simple and Simple Plus. In other countries, we have Stashway Simple, and we have a US dollar cash yield that currently yields 5.3% on cash. So that's a cash offering, which has been very popular, continues to be very popular. Uh, the core offering, though, is the uh, ability to build diversified portfolios across asset classes. That's what everybody should do, and that's where everybody should have 60, 70, 80% of your personal financial wealth. This is where you build your retirement plan. This is where you build your, uh, the fund for your uh, kids' university or whatever long-term goal you might have. And that's, those are managed portfolios diversified across asset classes where you get exposure to global equities, global bonds, uh, and those are managed to take account of uh, uh, where the economy is going and where the economy is. And so, you know, in the last, you know, in 2022, there was a lot of inflation protection in those portfolios. Uh, now that inflation protection has, has subdued, and actually over the course of 2023, we had actually a lot of cash because in, in the economic situation, cash is where actually uh, you could find uh, kind of a very good risk-adjusted yield to manage uh, and to balance the risk of the portfolios. Michelle, your uh, core demographic, your target market is... Uh 30 to 45, as you said, uh, right? And uh, white collar, uh, some guy in an office job with a little bit of money uh, left over after paying all the bills, uh, et cetera. These people would be digital natives, I understand that. How are they taking to this whole concept of, of robo advisors, though? So I think people in that age bracket, and I think that age bracket is actually pushing higher. It's going, you know, I said 30 to 45, I think it's going to soon become 50, it's going to soon become 55. Uh, these are people that, as you mentioned, do a lot of their chores by themselves online with a phone, and they prefer that. If you ask anyone in that age bracket, would you rather go to the bank and spend two hours getting a free coffee uh, and talking to a, a, an advisor who in reality is trying to sell you a product or have access to you know, a curated selection of product on an app, I think everyone will, will choose uh, will choose the second. If you look at where our clients work, the most represented industry is financial services. So the lab, you know, most of our clients work in banks, which tells you a lot about how our value proposition has actually been appreciated by people that understand what is available in the market. And the second yes. biggest industry is technology. So in general, you, you know, these are probably people that uh, you know, obviously are digitally savvy, as you mentioned, yes. that they like to uh, take control of, of their finances. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.